Welcome to Quarantini Time, a show where I get to chat with friends and family while having a delicious beverage with them. Tonight's guest is a friend back from when we worked at The Gap together. We fell into it. I babysat her kids and celebrated Jewish holidays with her. Please welcome my friend, Terry Swearingen. Hey, Terry, welcome to Quarantini Time. Thanks, Laura. Thanks for having me. What are we drinking tonight? Gin and tonic. Tall. That is disgusting, so I'm having a dirty martini. Mm. It tastes like Christmas trees, and it's like gnawing on a pine branch. I can't do it. That's too bad. So you and I met years ago in the early 2000s. We both worked at The Gap. Yeah, I was thinking about that today, how long it's been and how old the kids were. It's pretty wild. So I used to babysit your kids. How old were they back then? Um, Emma had to be five and Cole was seven. They were ridiculously adorable and so much fun to hang out with. It wasn't even babysitting. And so much work, I'm sure. You know, playing hockey in the garage and just hanging out and watching them rollerblade. So much hard work. Cole still talks about it, playing hockey. So also back then, you used to invite me over for all the Jewish holidays, and that was amazing. I will say that you make the best matzo ball soup and the best brisket I have ever had, and latkes for that matter. Thank you. Thank you. I made a matzo bry for John the other night. He about threw up. He thought it was disgusting. So in the next step will be gefilte fish. Why would you ever do that to anybody? <laughs> it's good stuff. I don't know if many people know this, but you are actually the reason why I started shaving my head. Well, your friend. Well, yeah, but you're the one that brought the St. Baldrick's organization yeah. to my attention and introduced me to Team Tuesday. Yeah, unfortunately, there is a Team Tuesday. Unfortunately, there is a Team Tuesday. But you came over to my apartment one night and you were like, hey, want to shave your head? You know I can't say no to something like that. So I think you knew exactly what you were doing. And seven years later, I'm still doing it. And I'm really bummed because you were supposed to get knighted, weren't you? Yep, this was my knighting year. I knight you. We'll get it in September. Yeah, I know. I know. This summer we'll have a Team Tuesday party or something. So you left the country a while ago. Your kids are all grown up and gone away, so you can go on these amazing vacations. Where was this last vacation to? Belize. And what did you do in Belize? Uh, what, what did we really do, or what's the big thing we did? All of the above. We did everything. We went scuba diving. We hung out. We played miniature golf. We went on some incredible hiking adventures to waterfalls. We swam in a blue hole, but not the blue hole. And um, we found a property we're trying to buy. So how's that going? Did you, have you been able to close on it with all this? It's been very stressful, very stressful. So we have delayed it now for the closing until July. Everything in Belize is totally locked up. They closed down even before they had their first case. And then we had to find a Belizean lawyer that we like. So now we're at that stage. We're kind of rewriting the contract a little bit and we'll see what happens. So if it's meant to be, it'll be. What's that fancy outfit you put on just for this? My wedding dress. Ooh. Let's see. And how long ago did you wear that dress? Um, let's see. I, um, how old's my son? 26? <laughs> <laughs> um, 28 years ago, 28 years ago. And I had it in a box, all boxed up for a very long time. I want everybody who comes on my show from now on to either wear their wedding dress, wedding suit, or look as spectacular as you do tonight. Absolutely. And John is gonna take a video of me taking the trash out in my wedding dress. That is amazing. Are you, will you post that to the Facebook for people to see? Sure. I am watching right now, because I never did watch, Orange is the New Black. No, oh, that's such a good show. So I'm up to the third series. That's how much TV I've watched. Don't bother watching the last season. It's horrible. Really? Well, I mean, watch it to watch it. But what else are you watching? Any good movies? We watched a couple of series. The Leftovers. Yeah, really good one. Ozark. See, and Ozark. I still haven't watched that yet. Oh, you have to watch Ozark. That's really bizarre. I think that's it, really. Watch a couple of movies here and there. Nothing. John and I don't have the same taste in movies, so kind of like, oh, another sci-fi? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll be on my computer. 
And it's the first time we ordered in dinner from local. Where'd you order from? Uh, Sabachis. I've just been cooking just because we order, we call it Hello Kitty, Hello Fresh. Yeah, we have Hello Fresh as well. We've been getting Marley Spoon and it's just so convenient. We've been doing it for yeah. years now. Yeah, I mean, it's like at least we have one normal meal together. Uh, if you're looking for television shows, I will always suggest Schitt's Creek. What else? Kim's Convenience is on Netflix. It's also another Canadian comedy. Okay. Nailed it. Nailed it. Oh, okay. A couple of documentaries uh, my friend Lisa told me about. I can't. Do you ever see C? C? With Jason Momo? Uh-uh. It's interesting. It took me a little bit to get into because it's really bizarre, but it's good. It's it's a culture where everybody is born blind, except these two children that this woman gave birth to that have sight. Then they're warriors and they're running around, they follow each other, but they have like these, you know, snaps or ch 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 they say, or they just know how to follow sound and whatnot. It's pretty cool. I, I just want the nice weather because I, once I start sitting on the couch, it's really hard to get back up. I, Kelly and I were talking about that tonight because I have made myself stay motivated because mm -hmm. I feel like if I don't do things throughout the day, then I'm just going to sit in the basement and watch TV all day and I'm going to make myself go insane faster than if I'm keeping productive and doing something. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. The days it's crappy out, it's hard. You know, and, and at first, you know, I was still doing some work still walking. I had a couple of neighborhood people where I walked their dogs, but then it got to be like, I didn't want to go in their house. They didn't want me in their house. One of my clients works at a hospital and then it was like, okay, now I have nothing to do. <laughs> and I don't, I don't want to bake and cook and eat. So yeah, trying to get a little organized. So let's talk about your business. What's the name of your business? Uh, Mama Bear Pet Care. And what do you do? I do um, animal care, pet sitting, vet visits, dog groomers, overnights, walks. Yeah, it was going really good until <laughs> this shit hit. I was booked spring break. All right, well, <laughs> at the end of every episode, at the end of every interview, I like to do my James Lipton COVID-19 questionnaire. Okay. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> What is your favorite word? Fuck. What's your least favorite word? Moist. Who would you most like to be in a stay-at-home quarantine with? John. And who would you least like to be in a stay-at-home quarantine with? Cole. <laughs> well, here's a question that's probably the same as the first one. What's your favorite curse word? Fuck. What sound or noise do you love? Chit chit. What sound or noise do you hate? Like a knife and fork scraping. If you could have only one type of food during a stay-at-home quarantine, what would it be? Ice cream. Hands down. Uh, what profession other than yours would you like to attempt? Veterinarian. What profession would you not like to do? Gynecologist. And the last question tonight. If heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? Welcome. Well, thank you for joining me tonight, friend. Thanks for having me, friend. It's been a blast. We will see you when this craziness ends. Sounds good. You stay healthy and take care. You Love you.